Hello everyone, it's Baby Turtle here. Markets are deep red. We're in falling knife mode. Indices are dropping. Big tech is especially dropping. We're waiting for the earnings tomorrow where Google and Microsoft are reporting. And Thursday is another big day where Amazon and Apple will be reporting. So the market is in falling knife mode. But there are some good opportunities out there. In this video, I'll talk about Foot Locker, a company that I've examined already in a prior video that I said that was a potentially good buying opportunity and now in this video I finally pulled the trigger so let's get right into it. All right, so if you want to have a fundamental understanding of Foot Locker, uh, if you want to see some fundamental analysis, you can check my previous video. Um, so that that's where I covered the fundamentals of the company, so I'm not going to repeat myself in this one, but basically uh, very quick recap you can you see this this is the weekly chart by the way so each candlestick represents a bar you see this big uh, red candlestick that's when the earnings were reported and the earnings were great they did not only post a double beat so they beat eps and revenue but they also increased their uh, dividend to historically high levels okay so however the market still did not like it and there was a massive drop uh, you were talking about roughly speaking 33 percent or so so the stock lost one third of its value so the reason for that was that Nike was adopting a direct-to-customer approach and Nike is one of the biggest assets, one of the biggest sort of vendors that um, Foot Locker relies on. So Foot Locker sells a lot of Nike products and Nike was, um, Nike was basically moving it to, into its own channel and Foot Locker said that it's forecasting that its share of Nike products will drop in the future and the, the analysts did not like that. So that's like in a... In a nutshell, that's what we're talking about. Now, obviously, this presents a good buying opportunity. I explained that um, in the previous video. I did not pull the trigger in the previous video. And the reason for that is because there was a consolidating price action. I wanted to see uh, that the price was indeed consolidating because it's very common, very, very common for stocks that have big earnings over reactions to keep uh, dropping and I was particularly watching if it would retrace down to the bottom of its descending channel which it has respected for um, close to like uh, nearly eight years so I was willing to see if it was gonna hold the 789 fib level around 28 or whether it would retrace all the way down to the bottom of its channel which you know you're talking about really uh, 16 17 dollar range there and you know that could have happened I would not I wouldn't have been surprised if that happened because we've seen with PayPal, we've seen with Netflix, we've seen with, you know, lots of um, Katie Wood stocks, ARK Invest stocks that sometimes really in, in bear markets, like you need to move away from the numbers and really look at the, the chart and the stocks can have no button. Like seriously, they can drop like there is no tomorrow. And um, especially, you know, I'm specifically referring to the stocks with uh, big earnings reactions, earnings overreactions, let's say. So Foot Locker dipped hard, lost one third value. I was watching this consolidation. I like that it's consolidating around the 786 FIB level around this 28 zone. It's currently trading $29 a share by the time I'm recording this. I like what I'm seeing. I like the consolidation. I like the fact that it didn't drop all the way down to the uh, bottom of its descending channel. So I pulled the trigger. I pulled the trigger. What I did was I go for low risk trades. If you follow my channel, you would know that I go for safe play, safe strategies. So what I did was that um, actually there is, I need to correct my journal here. Um, just so a little bit of an inconsistency there. Um, so what I did was I sold a $25 um, strike cash secured put May 20 expiration. And I sold two contracts and collected $32 premium a piece including commissions so actually i collected a bit more but ibkr charged like one to two dollar commissions in trades like this so uh, net net i collected 64 dollars premium i typically set a buy to close order for these trades around 78 to 80 percent profit so that's what i'm going to do as well so i will probably set it around 14 dollars you know or if you take the 32 i'll set it around eight dollars so uh, the goal would be to exit the trade when it's uh, when it loses 75% of its value. The goal is to buy it back. Now, I I like this, and this is before the next earnings. So obviously, if we get uh, some sort of bad news in next earnings, we could see further reaction. I think if you look at PayPal chart, um, it you know I think PayPal is a good case study. And let me switch to daily very quickly because. What I'm trying to explain with earning over reactions, and this is really you should be careful about uh, these things. As you can see, 
November earnings. This is uh, if you follow this stock, you know there was discussion around PayPal potentially buying uh, Pinterest, and the market didn't like it, and then they didn't like the earnings, so they missed the revenue. Uh, so as you can see, let me show you. There was a drop here. Okay, so the price did not consolidate though for PayPal, unlike uh, Foot Locker. It dipped big. It dipped after a sort of a fake consolidation, which is what we had for a few days here, but. As you can see, after that, it dropped another 16%. So technically, one could have sold the case secure put around this range and should have been you know, could have been okay. But long term, you see the price kept dropping, and next earnings, we had another falling knife uh, for PayPal, and it went all the way down, filled its gap around this level, and you know, currently trading at $87 a share. Who would have thought, right? This stock was trading at um, above $300 a share just a few months ago. So what I'm trying to say is that earnings overreactions, you got to be careful, you got to play it wisely, you got to watch for consolidation, you got to watch for support. And Foot Locker, because it has been in this range for about, um, you know, you're looking at nearly two months now, uh, I did feel comfortable. And the earnings are um, 27th of May. So my contract is my contracts are expiring 20th of May. So that's good as well because I don't I wouldn't want to hold a stock a short position on a stock throughout the earnings because you never know what's going to happen. Apart from like a specific circumstances, um, I'm not a big fan of that at all. So all in all, I like I like this play. I like the strategy. If I get assigned, I'm happy to have I'm happy to own 200 shares of Foot Locker with an average price of 24.7 or 24.68. To be more specific of course you know depending on your portfolio size this could be too much or too little for you so it's obviously you know best whether that fits your portfolio size but for me this was the right trade i feel comfortable about it i feel happy about this trade and wanted to share with you on my channel thank you very much for watching any questions please post i would be more than happy to answer take care of yourself and looking forward to um, catching up and seeing you soon in my next video thank you